On the road again. We're back on the road again. I told there would be no country and joining us right now. If you've been to Old Poway Park, um, the th this place is amazing. The Nelson House. Oh, what? Switch. Oh, yeah. The Nelson House, I I in case you haven't been. Chris Olps is here. Marisol Morales also. How are you? How did oh, I say that? By the way? Perfectly. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> uh, okay, Chris, tell me about this place and, and, and what it's all about. So the Nelson House is one of our uh, more recognizable uh, features here in Old Poway Park. Um, as part of the Historical Society, we like to yeah. offer an immersive experience. And so yeah. that's really what this is. It, uh, it offers you the chance to see what life was like back in the day. I mean, how far back? does this go and, and what did the first settlers do when they were here? So this was uh, around the 1800, uh, late 1800s uh, when wow. Poway was being first settled and um, you know that was time of ranchers and a lot of the uh, the early yeah, ranching farming and uh, early San Diego but uh, wow. Poway was yeah leading the way in a lot of that. And that's very impressive. I, I'm, I'm looking at all the signs and I, I fascinated with all of this it says 1927 bill otis lived on poway road installed the poway's first telephone is that really the first telephone yes the first telephone definitely for poway and cool telephone. can i touch it uh, yes definitely okay, hold, hold on. yeah it's uh wait don't break it is she gonna is she okay to do that She's okay. the sheriff's department is right outside if she gets yeah. out of line this is a hands-on museum you okay are at the touch. Well, you are okay there's typical sholly always on her phone <laughs> I wanted to talk to you. Uh, there are other historic buildings, and Marisol is in more of the traditional outfit. Uh, I don't know what Chris is wearing. Uh, this wasn't the 1880s outfit, oh, right? No, no, no. Neither is mine. Uh, tell us about kind of a little bit. You have an outfit of the time, I guess, and yes. what other buildings you have here. Okay, we have the Porter House, which is right there. Uh -huh. The Porter House, um, he was the gentleman who actually owned this property, and so his mother came here first. That's the block part. She yeah. had originally lived in Lake Hodges, moved here, and oh, then wow. her son came came here to help her and that's where the wood part of the house is. We also have Templar's Hall, yeah. which is the brown building and that ha was brought over from about a block away. Uh, let's see, we have, well the hamburger factory <laughs> used to be a building that had um, antique shops and all sorts of different things in it. Now it's a restaurant. And then we have what used to be the blacksmith yeah. Right over there. Over there, yeah. And that's now our pottery shed. Uh, Sholly is getting lost in the house somewhere. I don't know. Can, we, fo can we follow Sholly wherever she's going? What's back there? You guys, what's back? Chris, what's, where are we going? What's back here? So next would be our living room. Uh, kitchen, dining room. <laughs> dining it's like, room. yes. It's like we're being trans transported in yes. time. Tell me about every day. What, what is going on in this room? So this is where your family would gather, the main gathering place for the family. You're going to eat here. You're going to um, essentially spend time together. You notice the house is small, so everything's wow. centralized, and everyone would, you know, <laughs> unlike today with rooms, everyone would see each other all the time, and you'd get together. And, and then after you eat your meal, this is, this is the entertainment room where we're jamming away. Holy moly. What? But wait a minute, what is happening here? Chris, I noticed you're, you're stepping, but you're not playing. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, no hands. Magic <laughs> piano. <laughs> Look at how cool this is. How are you, how are you doing that? I'm pumping it. Uh, this is a player piano. It's wonderful. Technology of the old time. I, I love it. That's like the old iPads. Uh, <laughs> let, let's finish the tour while we're at it. Chris, uh, oh, is this like a kid's bedroom? No, no, this is a regular this Stop is the adult it. room. How is this in a... Look at the size of this bed. <laughs> this is the adult It looks... This is the master bedroom, yes. Okay, so give me a tour. This is the master bedroom, but you notice the first thing, like the door frames, everything yes. seems a little smaller. Yes, I mean, back in those days, they definitely didn't have the expansive open concept thing. They had the... The smaller buildings, the smaller homes, if you but like will. This is we also have smaller people. Uh, <laughs> oh, when that's what I was getting We have at, semantic yeah. clothing that we cannot put on an adult mannequin. We have to put them on teenage. Oh, bodies. wow, because I was noticing this bed looks like what a kid nowadays would be. Maybe like a second or third grader would sleep in that bed. No, that is typical of a husband and wife's bed. The mattress. Whoa, 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 whoa. It does explain large families. <laughs> <laughs> Marisol will be here all week. Tip oh. your waitress. I love, I love, yes, ma'am. You're telling me two people have to sleep in that bed? Yes. Yes. They did have larger beds, but they were usually for multiple children. So they had three boys and a girl, and we figured they probably had 
the three boys in one bed, and I hope the little girl had a bit of her own, but I don't know. Is that amazing? Like, I, I mean, I can't fit in that. Can I sit on it, or? Yeah. Okay, just to give perspective. A lot of on no, it. no, no. Oh, what? <laughs> I mean, if you, it's really tiny. I'm not going to lie down. I don't want anything yeah. weird to happen. They did have larger beds. Did they? Okay. Well, this is kind of cool. And we That's do have school tours through here, and this is the funnest room to take them through yeah. because they use, we ask them, what do you use those things for? Right over there. <laughs> and, of course, right here. And, yeah, and the kids. Ooh, yeah. I know. <laughs> That's it. The kids don't. They think it's a Dutch oven. What? It's a chamber pot. What? Chamber pot. So at her? night, you when you didn't want to go to the outhouse, you had to use that. <laughs> and on that note, listen, when you book your tour, make sure Marisol is your tour guide because she, uh, she's got the scoop. Uh, <laughs> got the oh, popcorn pop. I mean, we got it all. Uh, the Nelson house is a must when you come to Old Poway Park. The tour is great. Let's kick them. Wait, nobody's at the piano. Let's get some music as we go to commercial. Ready? Here we go. Visit the Nelson house. Fox 5 on the road. We'll get some music going for you, and then we'll be right back. Here we go. Go, go, turn on the music. You're watching the Fox 5 Morning News on the Road in Poway.